ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Crowman17, back for another exciting episode of my DNA test. I didn't tell anybody I was doing a DNA test, maybe I should have asked if anybody was interested in doing this, uh, and I'll, I will be honest, it, it is kind of a, a trending thing ever since Elizabeth Warren did it, so I decided to go ahead and see if I can just find out exactly what I am. Now, I'll be honest with you, this isn't exactly a reaction video, because I wasn't expecting to get my results until March 15th and it showed like a process and it showed that there was still at least two more steps before I finally got the final results and then the other day they came in and as I was looking through it just to see how far along it was it ended up popping up with all my percentages and I read a few of them down and I stopped myself quickly because I told myself I forgot I was going to do a reaction video on this and then I uh, well, just yesterday I changed my mind. I was like, you know what? Forget it. I'm, I'm just gonna take a look. So, uh, so first of all, I'll tell you what I thought I was, or let me see, what my my presumptions, what I was told, and the things I, I knew, and then we'll just go I'll go down it, and I'll tell you, you know, we'll see, obviously, what was uh, unexpected. So, I know this for a fact. My dad is very, very Nordic. So, if, so right off the bat, let me tell you this. If you think that I'm full-blooded Native American, no disrespect, but you're a fool. As you can see, I very clearly have very Aryan facial features. I have to be at least half white. And my dad did get his DNA test about a year, I think maybe a year and a half ago. And um, though he was, he was kind of hoping to find something a little exotic in there, he had a pretty good idea of what he was and and he was he was pretty much right. He he came up as ninety nine point ninety nine percent Welsh English. And um, I, I've done some research on. Uh, well, I'm just I love history, so I I, I have in, inadvertently done a lot of research on Celts and the Celtic uh, people before before I even realized just how Celtic we were. But what, what actually ended up happening is I, I found out at one point what our last name, uh, where it came from. Um, so I, I, I met a guy who told me, you know, he, he knew about this kind of stuff, and I just wanted to test him, and I asked him. So one of the biggest issues I've always had in my, in my life is that people read my name, and they read it Powles, P-O-W-L-E-S, and they think it's Powles. It's not Powles, it's pronounced Poles. And so I, I always thought, okay, well, if this guy is, is who he says he is and he knows as much as he says he knows, then he should be able to pronounce my last name right if I spell it. And he even had, he had a, a British accent. So I said, okay, I, I just, okay, check this out. My name is Stephen, and I spelled it out P-O-W-L-E-S. It took him no time at all. He didn't even hesitate. He said, Poles, you're Poles. It's Welsh. And I was like... Wow, okay, he, he has to be right because he's the only person I've ever met on Earth who's been able to pronounce my last name correctly, first try, no hesitation. And he told me that it was also Welsh. And the funny thing, too, is that, let's see, so I got my DNA test through Ancestry.com, and many years ago, my dad decided to start making a family tree also on Ancestry.com. And all my life, he's always told us that we're German and that Poles is German. He found it odd to find that... Um, he was finding lots and lots of people with the last name Poles or last names that were very similar to Poles in Great Britain and virtually none at all in Germany. So he started to suspect that maybe we weren't so much German as we were British. So I started looking, I started thinking about a lot of, a lot of the information that I'd already learned about, um, about the UK and its history and, and I realized that the, the Welsh are Celts. They're Celtic. Um, I just you know, I did a lot more research and, and it's been really just diving nose deep into uh, the Celtics, the Celtic ancestry that I have and the Celtic bloodline and the Celtic people. And I was actually very excited to find out that I was Celtic. And my grandma, I know she also says that she's, you know, she's a little bit of this and that, mostly Scott. The Scots are also Celtic and the Irish are Celtic and a lot of the people from Britannia are Celtic. In fact, um, the, the heart of Europe used to be largely Celtic. The western France, eastern Germany was very Celtic. It was the heart of the Celt land. 
when uh, Julius Caesar fought the Gauls, they were Celts. Vercingetorix was a Celt. And in fact, at, at some point in, in, during the Roman Empire, a rogue Roman emperor, who I presume probably had some Celtic ancestry, tried to form his own part of the Roman Empire, his own state called the, the, the Gallic Empire, which consisted of Spain, France, and uh, modern-day England, which also included Wales at the time, not Ireland or Scotland. A lot of the Celts has pretty much been kind of pushed out of Europe, and they, they were mostly on the British Islands. So these days, that's where you're going to find the big, saturated Celtic heartland would be the British Isles of the UK. Um, obviously, you know that uh, the, the Romans conquered Spain first before they conquered the Celts in France. That's why Spanish today sounds very similar to Italian. It's one of the Latin languages. And even France today, after being conquered by Rome, sounds very, very um, uh, Latin. My dad also found a little, had, well, a, a bit of Irish and Scottish blood in him. And like I said, that is Celtic. So, uh, for without a doubt, I'm, I knew that I had to have been at least 49% Celtic of Celtic ancestry. So, as far as my mom's side goes, see, it was all based on hearsay. I know that there's a lot of mixed blood on my mom's side, and they did a lot of going around. I know my grandfather has uh, Spanish in him, and I know that I, I think he also had a little bit of French, but mm, what I was also told that they were basically, the families did a lot of, they were from Mexico. They did a lot of going around in Mexico. Uh, basically, the old Mexican territory where the border used to be cut off before the Spanish or the Mexican-American War, when the states like um, Texas, California, Arizona, New Mexico, Nevada, and Utah and Colorado were seceded to, well, basically bought by the United States forcefully through conquest. So they were, they were all living, my family on my mom's side was all living in that area, and even long after, many generations afterwards, they were one of the people who were already living in what was old Mexico after it became part of the United States and continued to live there for a very long time. And they had a lot of mixing in with the local tribes there. From what I was told, it was ma ma mainly um, Apache. Apache from the uh, Arizona, New Mexico, Colorado area. And then from my Mexican side, it was... Um, from deeper Mexi in Mexico, it was Aztec. So this is just, these are the things that I, that I was told, and these are the, the bloodlines that I presumed that I would have on my mom's side, at the very least, assuming. So where the line is drawn, we were, it doesn't exactly specify, but it looks like it's, it's basically a line drawn between the, uh, it kind of overlaps between the new border of Mexico and the old border of Mexico. So the tribes, uh, indigenous tribes of America, Mexico, would be li uh, tribes like Apache, Comanche, Aztec, Mayan, Navajo, Yaqui, um, you know, you know, tribes like that. And my guess is that, you know, it doesn't have this information here, is that there's probably indigenous America's southern, which would probably be tribes like um, the, you know, the South American tribes, what do they call that one, uh, Inca. That's pretty much the only one I know down there. So let me just show you now. Well, I'm not going to show it up on my computer. I'm just going to rate it off of my phone. It's just easier for me like that. I don't have uh, a microphone to where I can like, show you pictures and speak over them at the same time. I haven't been able to figure that out yet. Maybe in the future I'll have that technology. So let me just go over it. Like I said, this isn't really a reaction because I already ended up going over it. All right, so... First and foremost, my strongest bloodline is... English Welsh, 58%, which means that my mom had to have had to have had a little bit of Celtic in her as well to boost that up to 58%, which is pretty awesome. I'm actually very happy to know that I'm more than 49, more than half Celtic, because I'm very, very proud of my Celtic ancestry, and I've just, I just love the history of the Celts. Spanish, 14%. That's got to be on my grandpa's side. Indigenous American Mexico, 12%. 
Okay, well, that's confirmed. I, just, I knew it. And there's a long list actually underneath that. It doesn't give any percentages, but it just gives the areas New Mexico, Colorado, and uh, Jalisco, and Guanajuato. Okay, so that would be, like I said, Apache and Aztec. 7% Scottish. Well, that can basically just be added to my Celtic ancestry, so 58 to 65%. 5% French, okay, well, that's also on my mom's side. I had a feeling that we were told that we were part French. Um, a little surprised to find out that it's not France French, it's actually Quebec. 2% Indigenous America North, so that would be the Northern tribes. That would be the tribes that lived beyond the old Mexican border. So the tribes like, um, like Iroquois, Lakota, Cherokee, that can also be added to the indigenous Mexico, indigenous America's Mexico, so 12%, 13 14% indigenous. That's pretty much it. Everything after that is also has to be on my mom's side. Like I said, she had a lot of mixed in her, a lot of different tribes are a little different. She had a lot of different races mixed in her blood, but they're only 1%. Basque, which is, I guess, a fusion of Spanish and French. Oh, I'm part Greek, which was very surprising only also only one percent and uh to find out i am a fucking nigerian you thought i was gonna say nigger didn't you yes less than one percent nigerian that is also got to be on my mom's side i was very surprised to find that my mom had such a big mix of blood in her but yeah i was very surprised to find out about the greek and the nigerian that i don't even know how that's in there that seems to be very far away from all the basic things and even Greece is pretty far so take it as you will those are my DNA test results some surprises some not too surprising at all uh, very happy to know that I'm more than a half Celtic I'm also happy to confirm that I'm actually a, a lot more indigenous than I thought I was my guess is honestly around six percent and here I find that I'm actually more than twice as much indigenous as I thought I was that's it for today. Thanks for watching. Tomorrow I'm going to have a rally out on uh, Highway 17, and maybe I'll make a video about that. So tune in for more later on. And you know what I think I'm going to say from now on? Let's make gonzo journalism great again.